Sparkles Clubhouse, won't you come on in? Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse, let the fun begin! The fire safety dogs are here today, they practice their fire safety in every way. Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse, won't you come on in? Won't you come on in? Live from Sparkles Clubhouse, here are your hosts for Sparkle Safety Spot, Firefighter Dana and the Fire Safety Dogs. Good morning everyone and welcome to the 80th episode of Sparkle Safety Spot. I am your host Dana Hilton along with my good friend Molly the Fire Safety Dog and we are really excited that you are here. Whether you are watching us live on the record on the live stream or a recorded version later on we're really glad that you are here our host today is molly and molly is starting to become quite the veteran at helping with sparkle safety spot aren't you molly so we're very excited that she's going to be co-hosting with us, us today molly up molly up hey girl you want to wave at everybody let's wave wave Good. So Molly would like to say good morning to everyone. Well, today is a very special day in that we get to ring the bell. Now, each time that someone makes a donation to the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation, Molly rings the bell during Sparkle Safety Spot. So this week, we would like to thank Leanne and Michael for their donation to the foundation. So let's see if we can get Molly to ring the bell. Molly, up. Molly, up. Let's go. Good girl. Sit. Sit, good girl. Hold the bell. You ring the bell and say, thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Michael. Ring the bell. Good job. So thank you so very much. We really do appreciate it. This is what the fire safety dogs have been up to this week. Our most exciting news is that we Skyped with school children from Germany. We were very, very excited to Skype with a class of 6th and 7th graders from Germany. We, we did this on Tuesday. Now, what was really interesting about this is Molly and I got up very, very early. And it, we, it was 6 o'clock here when we started to Skype and it was about seven hours there so we had a really good time so basically what that means is morning here afternoon there we had a really wonderful time now this is a picture of the classroom that the students were in you could see the empty chairs there it's a very big room and in the very back of the room if you notice they have flags hanging in the back of their classroom just like the clubhouse has flags hanging up on the back of the wall so that is their classroom so there she this. is she opened up her mailbox up. and here's her mail get your mail thank you molly and there you go <laughs> so that's just one of the yay Molly, can you wave at everybody? Molly, can you wave? Can you wave? One more time. Wave. There you go. So that is one of the things that Molly showed the students there. She showed them how she was able to open up the mailbox, how to um, test a smoke alarm, and the different things that she knows how to do, didn't you, Molly? So we had a really, really good time. As I mentioned, we put up, we have uh, our flags up on the wall, and since we Skyped with Germany, we have a new German flag, and you can see it in this picture right there. So now we have five flags, boys and girls. You want to count them with me? We have an American flag, that's one. We have a German flag, that's two. 
We have a Japanese flag. That's three. And we have an Australian flag. And what number is that? Four. And then we have a Canadian flag. And that makes five. If you said five, you are correct. So we're very excited to have five flags. Now Molly and I are going to be doing an interview with a radio station in Spain on April the 14th. You can find more information on the Fire Safety Dogs Facebook page and webpage, but we will be able to add a Spanish flag up there with the other flags, so we are very excited about that. This week we also made a presentation at the a ranger station here uh, where we live is based at the at the uh, bottom of the Ozark Mountains and so there is a, a ranger station there so Molly and I went to share some safety tips some workplace safety tips as well as some safety tips that everyone there could take back home with them so we had a really good time and Molly did a good job she showed them how she crawled low under smoke, tested a smoke alarm, and a few of the other tricks that she's able to do. So we had a really good time. This is our friend Chloe. Now Chloe is call, Chloe is the voice of Molly. And what that means, boys and girls, is that she helps us with voiceovers. She helps Molly have a voice. So if we do a video, and you can see some of our videos in which Molly is talking, that is Chloe, and Chloe's helping us out. So we made Molly a t-shirt, and if you look really close, you can see a picture of Molly right there. So we made that for her, and since she rep helps the uh, represent the Fire Safety Dogs and the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation, we made her a jacket to wear with a little foundation logo on it. Isn't that nice, Molly? So thank you, Chloe, for all that you do to help us out. And what would it be without fun? Molly works hard, she trains hard, but she also plays hard. So here she is with her favorite, one of her favorite toys. This is her dragon toy. You love that toy, don't you, Molly? Well, today, after this live stream of Sparkle Safety Spot, we are going to be Skyping with kindergartners from Raleigh, North Carolina. We are very, very excited about this, aren't we, Molly? Now, if we were to travel in a spotmobile to North Carolina, it would take us 15 hours and 35 minutes and about 980 miles. But instead, we are going to be Skyping today. Boys and girls, it's super important to have a plan and to know what to do. And today we're going to be talking about crawling low. Now, the air is cleaner and cooler closer to the floor. So what you want to do is you want to crawl low on your hands and knees where that air is cleaner and cooler. So I brought along a couple of pictures with me. This is Sparkles the fire safety dog. This is a few years ago. She would pretend that she was in bed and sleeping and when she heard the sound of the smoke alarm she would get out of bed, she would crawl low, and she would go to her outside meeting places. Now, boys and girls, dogs don't have hands and knees, do they? So they crawl, they crawl on their bellies. But, boys and girls, you do have hands and knees. So you want to crawl low on your hands and knees. You want to go get out of your house, get out, and stay out, and go to your outside meeting place. Now, your outside meeting place can be a tree, a mailbox, a fence, or even a neighbor's house. It's just important that everybody in your family knows where that meeting place is. So we're going to ask our friend Chloe to show us what to do if, you hear, if you're in bed and you hear the sound of a smoke alarm. So here you go. She's in bed and she hears the smoke alarm. There she goes. She gets down low. See how she's crawling on her hands and knees? She goes to the door and she checks it with the back of her hand. You want to check it with the back of your hand, boys and girls. She's opening up the door. She, and if it's not hot, she's opening up the door. She's looking and then she goes through. And she then, when she gets out of the house, she wants to get out and go to her outside meeting place. Now, you'll notice that Ma, that Chloe is walking very fast. She's not running. So she is walking very calmly to her meeting place. And her meeting place is the tree. So good job, Chloe. Well, boys and girls, it is now time for the Get Out song. Molly and I love to sing, don't we, Molly? 
Hear that sound? It's time to sing. So let's go, boys and girls. Here we go, the Get Out song. One, two, one, two, three. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Come on, Molly. Oh. Good girl. Good girl, Molly. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Good job, boys and girls. Very good. Woohoo! Didn't they do a good job, Molly? High five. Good job. <gasps> Hear we that? Have we have mail, Molly. Can you check the mailbox for us? Let's check the mail and see what we got. Pull it open. Good girl. Okay, there's some mail in there. Can you get the mail? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, Molly. Well, we have some mail from, guess who? Her name is Molly. <laughs> so this is from Molly to Molly. This is a picture of Molly and on the back it says, Dear Molly, I love you. I love your tricks, Molly. So thank you so much, Molly. We love your picture, don't we? Yes, we do. Boys and girls, if you'd like to send mail to the fire safety dogs, you can send it to them at Post Office Box 1029, Clarksville, Arkansas, 72830. Again, that's Post Office Box 1029, Clarksville, Arkansas, 72830. You can also follow the fire safety dogs on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash fire safety dogs. The Fire Safety Dogs have a new blog and they would love for you to join their page. The website is www.firesafetyrocks.com. Right, Molly? We've recently updated this page and we would love for you to visit it. We put our new videos, the new videos and the new, um, the new coloring pages and lots of free stuff on there. So we hope that you can join the page and check it out. Well, now it's time for the Junior Firefighter Oath. So let me get Molly here. Ready? Molly, sit. Everybody hold up your right hand. Give me your right paw, Molly. Good job. And repeat after me. I promise to practice fire safety every day. Congratulations, you're all Junior Firefighters. High five, Molly. Yes. Good job. Fire safety dogs would love your help. If you could ask the grown-ups, we are looking for uh, um, coupons for batteries or maybe a gift certificate to Walmart. We use approximately four batters, batteries each week for this show and we would love to have your help. So if you would like to help, please contact us at keepkidsfiresafe at gmail.com. We are also in need of used ink cartridges. If you have any used ink cartridges that you would like to give to the fire safety dogs to help with their program, again, please contact us at keepkidsfiresafe at gmail.com. We would like to wish you a very happy and safe St. Patrick's Day. This is Molly all dressed up and ready to go. So we hope that you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day, boys and girls. This program is brought to you by First Alert. You can visit the First Alert website at www.firstalert.com to learn more uh, fire safety tips and also to learn more information about the services that they provide. This program is brought to you by the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation. The Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation is dedicated to helping keep children and their families safe. So on behalf of the fire safety dogs, we would like to thank you for joining us today. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend and even better week. And until next time, stay safe. And remember, fire safety rocks. Can you wave at everybody, Molly? Let's wave. Molly, let's wave. Wave. Wave.
Wave. Wave, good girl. The 80th episode of Sparkle Safety Spy. It is Friday, March the 14th, 2013. I am your host, Dana Hilton, along with my good friend, Molly the Fire Safety Dog. Whether you are watching us live on the web or the recorded version later on, we are really glad that you are here. Thank you so much for joining us. So, let's go ahead and get started. You want to, Molly? <laughs> Good girl. All right. This is what the Fire Safety Dog has been up to this week. There's Molly. Molly gets to host today, so today she gets her picture up there. Pretty special, Molly. 